so much going on in the video already. First of all, we have two Michael Jackson impersonators. One is entertaining the crowd. The other is walking up to the other impersonator, giving off the impression like he's actually Michael Jackson with his body language and his nod of approval and pointing at him saying, oh yeah, there you go, right there. There he is. So guys, um, let me know what do you think. What do you think? I'll let you know what I think. Are you ready? Okay, for me, I don't see anything wrong. I don't know what you saw. What you saw also can be what happens when someone identifies with that specific someone so much so that it clashes with their own identity, you know? Not necessarily that he thinks he's Michael. Of course he wouldn't think that he's Michael. But because his identity mimics and clashes with his own identity, he behaves in a certain way that tends to be very confusing to the very same audience that, you know, he's selling the idea of that person still alive. But because they've embodied themselves in that character, they've become the character, they've lost their own identity. So even when they react to something genuinely, could be due to admi admiring could be also due to the fact that, you know, they are friends and they love each other and they respect each other's work in their line of impersonating business, right? So because he doesn't have any identity of his own, I mean, he can lie and say he does, but if that's not the case, people started reacting like this. Now, Fabio, I did not say nothing negative. I was just speaking upon what I was observing. And I'm not the only one. There's many other people spoke what they seen too. So I was just speaking facts, you know what I'm saying? To me, in my opinion, you were standing there like you were actually Michael Jackson himself. You feel me? Doing it for clout is crazy. It's crazy. Wild. 
obviously I'm not doing that. I was just speaking upon what I seen with my own eyes, what I observed in my own eyes. That's all. You took it. You took it. However you took it. You feel me? That's all I gotta say. I ain't gonna say no more. As a Division One level hater, I feel as though we need to let this guy know his name is Fabio. By the way, you are not the real Michael Jackson. He is standing there with his arms crossed, looking at an impersonator like he not an impersonator his damn self. Like, oh my God, I'm so impressed. You almost like me. You not him. You not even 1% black. That's why I found out about Fabio. He got 0% black in him. And on top of that, he had the nerve to get mad he didn't get cast in the biopic. Newsflash, buddy. You look nothing like this motherfucker other than the facial features and the structure. You actually have no type of swag, can't sing, can't even dance like that. You guys are both impersonators. Miguel Jackson right there, and you... I don't know. You ain't MJ, though. You got to realize MJ is the fucking GOAT, and that is not you. I've never seen an impersonator feel like he really him. I want you to know, Fabio, you not Michael. You never going to be Michael, and as a visual level hater, I'm going to let you know. You know we're close. His girl holding him. Oh, look at baby. Look at He's trying to impersonate you. No, no, no. He's trying to impersonate him, the fucking GOAT, Michael Jackson. Let MJ be, man. He looking down from heaven like... Stop it, Fabio. Fucking stop it. Man needs to be stopped. Fake ass. ass. <laughs> oh my God, that's Michael Jackson. Anyway, let's continue. Like he's actually Michael Jackson with body language and his nod of approval. He met me, and I was there at the crowd, and he was pointing, and I was pointing back. And I wanted him to get the full tension because he was the one that was doing it. He was in spotlight. And uh, so I left him to do his thing. And later on, we collabed. We wanted, we did something together, you know, and that helped him a lot. A lot of people uh, tipped him, you know, helped him out, followed him because I asked him to. And um, in the end, we even like shared contacts and we became good friends. That's the story. That's the real deal. I don't understand why people have to make up some ridiculous thing. You know, it's not true. Uh, so much going on in this video already. First of all, we have two Michael Jackson impersonators. One is entertaining the crowd. The other is walking up to the other impersonator, giving off the impression like he's actually Michael Jackson with his body language and his nod of approval and pointing at him saying, oh, yeah, there you go, right there. There he is. He's just like me. The other impersonator who's impersonating the original Michael. That's not there. And second of all, we have this guy right here. He can't believe his eyes. He's either like, there's actually two Michael Jacksons or is that literally Michael Jackson? He can't believe it. I think it was time for him to put that drink down and go home after that. I think he has too much. <laughs> too much. From what I'm getting here is you're saying that Michael Jackson wouldn't like me because of creating false stories. First of all, stop speaking for Michael or bringing Michael into this. It has nothing to do with Michael. It has something to do with myself. And you, Fabio, all I was saying was pointing out what I seen in the video. That's all. Other than that, I was not create, chasing no clout, none of that. I was just making my opinion on the video, just like everyone else was doing before I even did it. Second of all, you made this whole narrative about victimizing yourself and me coming at you in the wrong way. Is your ego that big? Really? Is it really that big? Obviously you're saying I made false stories about you. As far as I know, they're not false at all. But don't come at me directly thinking that it's gonna fly by and it's gonna be all good and all that, like you're the victim in this. No, you're not. We know who you really are. Stop playing. Stop playing. I mean, what more can I say? What more can I say? At least I know my identity. 
At least I know my identity. That's all I got to say. You feel me? And saying that you have the look that Michael wanted to achieve is wild to me. It's crazy to me that you said you have the look that Michael always wanted to achieve is crazy. I tell no lies. Stop the cat. Stop. I feel like he's over um, cosplaying as him. So much so that it has gotten into his identity and his way of reacting. So he doesn't even have his own identity. He's doing that because that's all he'll ever know how to be. Because looking like Michael Jackson or seeming to look like him has robbed him the opportunity to even develop his own identity. So he doesn't even have one. So um, this is why I wasn't offended because I realized what I was dealing with here. I'm dealing with a person who doesn't have his identity. He erased it unintentionally. Um, I'm thinking in his way of even reasoning the way he's even reasoning he's reasoning like michael because he's adopted so much of his ideologies so much of his personality so much of the way that he thinks eats dress that he did not have an identity to even develop his own identity that's the initial call that we should take away from this entire conversation is it wrong yes it is it is wrong you should have your own identity and develop your own identity but again you don't have a control over what somebody else does right i don't i don't even have control over you of what you're going to type under this comment if you're even gonna type at all so um it's the way things are in the world i guess so this man if eventually and intentionally did not realize that what he's doing eventually would harm him he didn't re realize that he didn't. So now we are sitting here debating of what he was doing. Even though what he did was wrong from a normal standpoint. If I saw that, I'd be like, is he pretending to be me? Wrong. But I've seen many impersonators like Rihanna's personnel and impersonators, Swifter, Swifty, uh, Taylor Swift impersonators. I've seen them. <clears throat> Sorry. I've seen them. And they all have the same initial goal. They start off as less harmful, especially those ones who look identical to them. They start off as it's not harmful until it becomes the problem. So, I, yeah, I don't want, I, I want to know what you think, guys. Like, what do you think, basically? Do you think it was harmful? Like, what do you think? I really want to know.